The rockets are firing off in time. It's everything I ever wanted in life. It's like Christmas just came early. It's still shooting. Yes. God. Hello, everybody. Great Steel Blazer. We're back with more Brick Rigs. In the land of Brick Rigs, there are many creations that make us cry. Not because they're saddening, but because our processors slowly melt at the mere mention of them. Today, we're going to be looking at a few of those, but not yet. Over here, Dragon Sandman has crafted for us the Brick Depot. It's essentially like the Home Depot, only Brick Rig style. One of the shipping containers decided to attempt to park. It's actually double parked right now. Someone needs to tow this thing away. Down into the Brick Depot in order to see its glories. There are, I'm not going to lie, there's a couple of things that we're looking at today that are like ridiculously brick sized. But I have to show them. I have to try and blow them up as well. Over here in the Brick Depot, what do we have? We got a $30 total over here. Uh, door is $10. A brick is $10. Metal is $15. And wood is $12. That's curious that bricks are one of the cheapest commodities that you can get in brick rigs. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You would figure they're probably like a couple of dimes or something like that because of how much materials the people go through. Actually, you know what? The owner of this store must be a freaking millionaire because we blow this place up so much. This store has to supply so many freaking the supplies to everyone. I can only imagine. It's got a monopoly. What do we have over here? This almost looks like giant whistles. That's what I'm feeling. It looks like, it looks like giant sport whistles. All right, now get your sport whistles over here. We have your uh, patented red bricks. This is the, this is the, like the cautionary bricks. Anytime I see the color red in a brick rig structure, it usually means that it's flammable and or explosive. So now I have permanently likened the color red to fire and death. Which I guess is pretty legitimate. Over here, you'll find your various silver bars. I think this is supposed to be metal. Like the metal slabs or something. They're so... They're so well placed upon all of the different racks and everything. Ah! We have our wood over here. Oh, you know what? It's probably... Hold on. Is it in... Uh, no, it's not. I was gonna say, is it... Is it in the correct order as it shows up over by the checkout area, not really. So I guess that's everything. Dragon Sandman, you have made something beautiful and worthy of praise. And thus it must be destroyed. Over here. I, w I wanted to show this off in the last episode, but I actually didn't get around to it. And thus it makes its first grand appearance. Verdeth is back with the Hellfire rockety thing. That's, I added the rockety thing. I think it's called the Hellfire. It is 99 rockets of pain and sadness. Why 99? And because 98 was too few and 100 was too many. I really don't know. Supposedly, he mentions if you put the timing down to one half speed, you get 30 seconds of missile launching happiness. Oh, God. All right, hold on here. Let's, um... Let us take them now. How exactly do you aim this? Is it kind of like I'm just I mean, I'm kind of I'm kind of guesstimating here Let's uh Take a moment to look at roughly how yeah, it looks pretty good I mean, I don't know how how hard they fall or anything now supposedly this thing is pretty simplistic to use uh, I think it said use the slowy down function move it over here to around uh, five You know if, if I can tap it correctly and then he mentioned like tap oh crap Tap the W key a whole slew of times while pressing the left mouse button, I think, and then watch the magic happen. Do I do this all at the same time or what? So, like, if I start pressing right now... Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's amazing. Oh. Oh, is it done? Oh, I don't know. I think... I think... I think... It may Hold on. Maybe I could... Oh, there it goes. You just gotta wiggle it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Are we... Are we done now? Hold on. I think. Oh, there goes some more. You never know when more rockets are gonna come spill it out of this thing. It's like it's like a pinata. It's like a surprise. See? It's like. Oh, I got. Are we done yet? Nope, we're not done yet. A couple more rockets. 
And by a couple more. Oh, that's a lot of rockets. Okay. I think we're legitimately done now. I think I think we find. Nope. We, there's one more. Nope. There's a couple more. Okay. I have missed the brick depot every single freaking time. I've missed it every time. Are we done? I think we're fine. Okay. It's it's gotta be done. There's a couple. Oh wow. There's a whole slew of rockets left. Let go of my rockets. Oh, we hit one time. One out of 99 ain't bad. Anything else? Can we get a few more? Okay, you know what? Hold on. Stop. 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 All right. We're... What was that? We're going to do the gray method. Remember, whenever things don't go your way, just move a whole lot closer. You thwarted me once, Brick Deep. Or, Brick... What did I call this just now? <laughs> you thwarted me once, Brick Depot. No longer. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Hellfire's majesty is without compare. Keep going. Keep going. More rockets. Come. C continue. Continue the barrage of sadness. Is there, like, its own little intermediary? Like, is this the part where you go get a soda or something? Does it happen naturally, or... Does it continue to fire? Do we need to, do we need to go ahead and wiggle it a little bit? There we go. A couple of wiggles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, mother of God. <laughs> they're, starting to, they're starting to go off to the side and such. Hold on. Maybe I can... Come on. I wonder what happens if we... Woo! Okay, now I definitely mentioned that you don't want to speed them up quite as much when you're at the full speed. I think you only want to tap the, the forward button like maybe five times or so. Part of me wonders how well this works for the rest of Bricksville. Lay waste to the populace. Begin the assault. Yes. Good. Onward. Uh, there's more buildings to feel the pain. There's plenty of more buildings to feel the agony. There we go. Things are... Oh, oh, I think... Are we... Did we... Did we get a slowdown over here? Come on. Just... Just... Kind of... Slowly... I'm not gonna lie. Regular speed works pretty good, man. This barrage is ridiculous. <laughs> ah, all right, are we? Whoa! <laughs> ah, I guess it was only a matter of time. I figured out what I did wrong. I'm so sorry, Verdeth, for not reading all of the instructions like I should have. Are you boys ready for the most incredible sight? of missile explodey barraginess that you've ever seen. What did what did I miss last time? I didn't put the friggin' stabilizers down. And when the stabilizers are down, glorious things happen. I think we're gonna do it on, we'll do it at full speed real quick. Are you prepared to see the, the, the most satisfying barrage of rockets ever to bestow its grace Upon brick rigs. Half speed rocket time. Go! Yes! <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, hold on. There we go. Ah! <laughs> That's glorious. Oh, God. They do get stuck every once in a while on half speed, but for the most part, it runs pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we almost we almost managed to get way in the back over there with those apartment buildings. All right, let's go ahead and simmer down real quick. Let's simmer this down. Did we get all the rockets out? Once more, 100% rocket releasal rate. All right, here we go. I'm sorry, processor. Over here, Torpus has gone completely insane and has crafted the 19th century full-sized Torpus town. It's all Torpus, all the time. Everything's produced by Torpus. Over here, you can buy your Torpus goods from the Torpus market. We have a little, uh, little Torpus villa over here. We've got a Torpus interior where you can sit down and read your various Torpus News? Daily News. Torpus makes another factory. His company is researching, oh, is reaching new heights. Currently, he owns 16 factories, all 
of all kinds of things. His workers aren't that happy, but he doesn't mind that. He wants more and more money. Oh my god. He is planning to take over nearby fields and sheep farm. He has so much money, he could even take over national railway lines and his city. There we go. Torpus has gone beyond the appropriate amount of power allowed to any one human being. It's the Torpus house office. No complaining, everyone. If you complain, it's off with your head because I imagine he makes the rules as well. Over here, we have the mighty Torpus placed by Torpus with his grand hammer of infidel smiting. Should you uh, not fall under Torpus's rule, your cranium is smashed in. Oh, everything's funded by Torpus, by the way. All the people who died in the Torpus company. You got all the gravestones over here from all the workers he's worked to death. Everyone who's fallen to their death, fallen into vats of acid and oil and kerosene and fire. Stop Torpus from taking over the city. What is this? Oh, he owns all this, but he wants to buy everything on the other side of the railway. I get it. Is there like, oh, I kind of wondered if there was random interiors in here. Like if there was like other little brick dudes that were, that were preparing protests and stuff like that. Actually, I think that we can get protesters. On the other side of the train tracks, a large protest has formed. Of all of the population that defies Torpus, defies his iron rule and his his money-making scandals. Obviously, Torpus is going to have to take care of this with extreme prejudice. It's time to melt my processor. Sorry, Torpusites, but you're going downtown, baby. Big Papa Torpus doesn't have time for your crap. Fire the rockets! There is rockets just skipping all over the place. Oh, the pro- Oh, okay. <laughs> Torpus went to hire one of Verdeth's machines and it ended up exploding. It doesn't matter. He has so much money, he can just buy another one. This is such a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Fire at Torpus Town. Fire at Torpus Town. Oh my god, the frame rate. Oh, the lag, but it's so glorious at the same time. It's so sad and yet so glorious. The rockets are still firing. Oh, the train station is going up in flames. The rockets are still firing. Oh, it's firing perfectly. It's doing fantastically. It's still firing rockets. Look at it go. The rockets are firing off in time. It's everything I ever wanted in life. It's like Christmas just came early. It's still shooting. Yes. God. I don't even know what's happening anymore. I think that some of the rockets teleported like through some of the bricks. It, it's, oh, it destroyed itself. Somewhere over here, the, the hellfire got vaporized. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. I'm not gonna lie. Part of me really wants to know. What happens if you drop a whole bunch of Torpus meteorites on top of Torpus Town? Well, the meteorites just exploded randomly. I don't know why. Oh god, the frame rate. This meteorite is gonna hit square in the middle, though. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the slideshow simulator I was hoping for. Wow, that did a lot of damage to Torpus Town. Holy crap. All of the bricks are a flying. We got one more meteorite, too. I wanted to show the love on both sides of the train tracks. So never mind, this Torpus meteorite decided to blow up in midair, but all the shrapnel rains down upon the ground to all of the denizens of this sad little town, and the bricks are lifting up and going everywhere. It's Things are just randomly breaking now. I don't even know if any of this has anything to do with anything. It's just happening at this point. All right, you talked me into it. One more Torpus meteorite on the other side of town. Oh, it's going into town square. Oh, it's going right on top of uh, of Torpus's little dude over here. Oh, no. Oh, the town square is going down. The town square is going down big time. Oh, the town square is totally fine. Second time's a charm? Oh, that time it worked. That time it worked just fine. Actually, that explosion wasn't as bad as the other ones. It's possibly it's because it's I had it on the normal speed. Oh, my God. I think my processor finally hates me. 
Oh, it was like a, it was like an aftershock. It was like a tremor that affected the whole of the city. Did you see? It was like a big wave that rippled throughout the township. All right. I had to show this off briefly. It's too many bricks, though. This is 12,000 bricks. The moon has made a vertical takeoff battleship. Look at the freaking size of this thing. It is absolutely massive in size and scope. This is made to be like a mobile command center. It's just, it's a giant battleship. That's what it is. Supposedly it flies. All right. Activate the auto hovers. Oh my God. Prepare for takeoff. Uh, oh, it's working. It's working. It's lifting up. Look at how much effort it takes. He had to build a stand to rest this thing on because of the size and mass. If I crash this thing, it will just absolutely destroy everything. Now, it is very slow. It is very slow to turn. It is very slow to move. But it does fly. And it does lift off. The future is now. With the Koi Motors Hover Car 4000. Supposedly, this car is better than his other hover car. Look at how well it floats. Look at how hovercrafty it is. I gotta tell you, he's, he's done a fantastic job with the hover car. It drives so nicely, too. Now, you can't go too fast, because if you go too fast, it kind of ends up getting away on you. But right about this speed here, man, right about this speed here, it works pretty good. Let's see how fast we can get it to go before it just doesn't love us anymore. All right, 30 kilometers per hour, not bad. 40 kilometers per hour. It's pretty good. 50. All right, we're starting to take off a little bit now. Starting to do the DeLorean thing, but it's still working. 70 kilometers per hour. Not too shabby. Okay, now, now it's getting out of hand. Now things are getting out of hand. Now it's doing a full flip, and then it's falling on its backside. Totally recovered. Totally recovered. How do you like that? Koi Koi, you've made something truly special. And for that, we salute you with this beautiful fuel tank. May your creation forever be remembered for its grace and charm. Now, please explode for the enjoyment of everyone watching. Please explode. You can explode now. There we go. <laughs> it just took a little bit. It like totally didn't want to hit the fuel tank. I expected it to hit the fuel tank a lot faster. And that totally didn't happen. Man, this thing is very, very, well, okay. All right. I was going to say, this thing is very, very flammable. Uh, it's also very, very volatile. Wow, it's flammable. Holy crap. Everything just fell apart instantaneously. To wrap things up, ECA001 has crafted this beautiful C-130 supply drop, I think it's called? Air supply. It supposedly drops down love and kindness to all the people of Bricksville. They've had, they had so much pain and sadness. They've had so much regret that, you know what? It's time for them to have a little love and kindness. So let's see if I can, let's see if I can actually manipulate this thing onto the runway, take off, and then drop all the glorious items for them to retrieve so that they can rebuild their lives. So that they don't have to live lives of regret and shame any longer. Now, how fast does this thing have to go? Let's see. Get up to about 110. Go ahead and lift up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Good. All right. Now, supposedly, we can use the page down key, I think it is, to open up the bay doors. All right. The bay doors are open. And now let us fly over the ruined city of Bricksville so that we can finally give something back. To the poor people here we go all right just kind of line up nice and slow like this lift up a little bit so we can get a slight bit of altitude we really didn't get that much altitude and now to drop everything off there we go look at the crates yes good crates of supplies all falling down look at that there we go fine it's cargo i think it says right oh it's coffee 
That's fantastic! That sounds delicious! That's something I would enjoy. There we go, Brick Rigs people. Look at that. You get some coffee, cupcakes, uh huh, cookies. Go oh, crap. We're falling into the ground. Oh, God. Oh, crap. All right. Well, that didn't work. All right. Let's try this again. There we go. There's the cargo. Yes. Good. What do we have falling out now? Okay. There's the cookies. There's the cupcakes. What else we got? Come on. Where's the next item? Oh, it's starting to come on. What is it? We? <laughs> Is this what the people of Bricksville need in order to stay alive? Is, is, is this, is this to get rid of the sadness and depression? Is that what that is? See everyone, we finally brought love and happiness to all the people of Bricksville. You knew we had to try this, right? You knew this had to happen, right? If you please, fire the Hellstorm rockets. Fire the Hellstorm rockets. Fire the Hellstorm rockets? Some of them are being fired. Oh, they're being fired all over the place. Yes! Come on, we've got it. We've got 99 attempts to take this thing down. Get there. Get there. Oh, I think it's gonna get there. Oh, some of these rockets are looking good. Some of the inbound rockets are looking good. Yes, right on the wing! We got a direct hit! We got a direct hit! You're not you ain't bringing no no happiness and love in my freaking town! You must be crazy! Take him down, Vernas. That's another good hit right there. And the C-130 comes crashing down to the ground in a beautiful showing of rockety goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, this Skippy rocket may actually hit it. Hold on. Here we go. Right on the nose. Right on the nose. Hit it. All right. Whatever. On the side. That works for me, too. Over here, one close to the prop. Just barely misses. This rot, this hellfire thing is amazing. Oh, some of the rockets went over on the side over there. Are we, are they still shooting? It's, there's still so many rockets left. Look at how many rockets there are. Come on, let's see if we can get a couple more in here. Hold on. There's, there's another shot on the wing. Very good. Another hit right on the front. Excellent. Makes me very happy. And there we have it, folks. The supply dropper has been absolutely obliterated. Oh, there's more rockets flying again. Look at how fast they're moving. The supply drop has been absolutely obliterated by the continuous barrage of rockets. There's still more rockets coming. Oh, make it stop. I never thought I would say it, but it's totally possible that this is just too much. Never mind, I'm lying. There's no such thing as too much firepower. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Break Rigs where we got to see some amazing contraptions and some things that go way beyond the appropriate size and scope of what we should probably see in this game. Anyway, folks, until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>